back to Jeff Hagee Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. Today what I want to do is share part of a conversation I had with Tammy Matheny, a mental skills coach, and she's the author of This Is Good and Confident Athlete. And we had some great conversations. I'm going to share more of our conversation at different times, but right now what I want to talk about is we talked about developing a confident athlete. And the importance here is whether you're an athlete, whether you're an entrepreneur, CEO, coach, whatever you are, these are all the same concepts that you can use regardless of what you're doing to build your own confidence. And so what I want you to do is just listen to our conversation for a bit and then I'll be back with you in a moment. So what are, what are some of the practices for an athlete to increase their confidence? Okay, um, in the book, I define four main areas. The, uh, your talk, your self-talk, so talking the talk, uh, your body language and how you handle yourself, uh, your actions you take, and I call that walk the walk. I mean, we've all heard talk the talk, walk the walk. Then uh, uh, visualization, the kind of the seed you plant in your mind of, am I confident? So I want to plant that image of a confident Tammy. I want to see myself constantly confidently overcoming challenges and performing my skills. And then the fourth step is preparation. Um, it's hard to be confident if you haven't put in the work. And I think a lot of people do put in the physical work, but they don't add the mental work with it. Um, so talk the talk. Um, I don't know, I give about probably 12 to 15, again, simple little exercises. But when something's simple, it can be as effective as something is hard, but when it's simple, it's as easy not to do as it is to do. And I think people think, oh, that's simple, I won't do it. Uh, so I wanna encourage people, just small daily actions can help us. So talk the talk, one of them is rubber band. I wear a rubber band and every time negative, I don't have to pop myself anymore, I can look at it and think, no, I need to change that. Um, but I have athletes pop it when they have a negative thought. And then I ask them to change it to a P square, positive or productive. I, I don't prescribe to this belief that everything is positive. Um, I think sometimes having productive comments to ourselves and others is more effective than, hey, it's okay, or keep your head up. Uh, if you would have told me it was okay when I missed a shot, I would have probably said, no, it's not. You know? <laughs> But give me a productive comment of what to do on the next shot or go make up for it on defense or, you know. So I, I don't like to say everything's positive. Yeah. But that's, it's relieving that as you talk about this, because we, we both teach similar things and we're on the same page. So I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that and, and I, you know, when you say talk the talk, I think that's one of our, can be our biggest downfall fall, or our biggest strength is the habitual questions that we're always asking ourselves or the comments we're making to ourselves because that's what I've seen with a lot of, you know, very good athletes is their self-talk can be so hard on themselves. And that's why you see the roller coaster. So, yeah. so what are, yeah. what, uh, as a, as a coach or a player, however you want to look at it, what do you tell an athlete when, you know, let's say it's your star athlete and they've missed the last five shots down the court? What, where do you, do you just pull out the elastic? Do you, what, where do you start? <laughs> well, you know, hopefully I've built the foundation before that situation happens. And what I like to teach athletes and teams is the using the visualization piece imagine you have missed five in a row and how are you going to handle that next shot and i believe the more you stay in the moment the more successful you can be um people like to debate this with me but it's almost impossible to have a negative emotion in the present moment all of our frustrations anxiety lack of confidence frustrations come from something that happened in the past, even if it was just the last shot, or thinking ahead too far to the future and creating anxiety or what will happen. So one of the things I like to do is give exercises of teaching them how to stay in the moment. 
Um, or how do we move a mistake ritual or a, mis a reset button? Um, different athletes like to call it different things, but as soon as I make that mistake and I'm getting negative, what's my reset button? All right, now get to the present moment. Um, favorite acronym, I stole this. I wish I knew who I could give credit to, but is WIN. We all like to win, W-I-N, um, but what's important now? And, and so oh, just really? ask, what's important now? And, you know, if, if I'm thinking what's important now, that missed shot isn't going to affect me because I'm too busy thinking. You can't have two thoughts at one time. So I'm too busy thinking, what am I going to do now? Um, so, you know, I, I think it's good when I can share experiences that I've had as an athlete because I've tried all of this and all of my whatever I do and, and sharing that. And I have failed and I've had successes. And I can see the importance of it. Um, I, I was in a basketball game for a championship one time. I was known as a shooter, not a great defender by any means. And I had missed, I think I was like 0 for 11. And if I had not started to work on my mindset, I have no doubt I would have been useless for that game. But I used all of this that I teach and it was focused on What's important next? And it was probably the best defensive game I've ever played. And the game was tied, I don't know, a few seconds left and I got fouled. And for a second, I started thinking, oh gosh, what if you miss? You've missed every shot you've taken. And I don't know. You know, this is an opportunity to forget about all that other stuff that happened. And I just kind of went through my normal foul shot routine, felt confident. Um, I had visualized that shot hundreds of times in my head. You know, I would go to bed every night imagining hitting the game winner. And so it felt comfortable. Boom, I hit it, you know. And, and I like to tell that story, not, not to brag about myself or boast about myself, but how I, I get it. You know, athletes are like, you don't understand. I, I'm oh for whatever. No, I get it. I've been there. And I can tell you the importance if you keep your brain alive mentally, something good can happen. All right, thanks, Tammy. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the fact that we talk about the same things and getting another perspective on it and get some more ideas and having her add these ideas and helping us all. So I appreciate that. I really like the concepts of walk the walk, talk the talk, visualization. And when you look at it with talk the talk, the P squared is such a great concept. You know, look at positive or productive. And then with the visualization, looking at when, what's important now. And so these are all concepts, like I had said earlier, whether you're an athlete, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a coach, whether you're a CEO, whatever it is, these are things you can implement into your life to be successful and gain the confidence that you need. So you can check out her books on Amazon. So again, it's This Is Good and Confident Athlete, but I will have her on here more often because we had some great things that we talked about and I'm excited to share those with you. But check out also High Achievers Mindset Secrets at mindset.jeffhagey.com. And also, if you're interested in looking at it, get my free momentum series. Just go to jeffhagey.com and you'll be able to see it or go to the link in my bio. And you'll be able to get that momentum series for free. You'll be able to get a lot of clarity on all your goals and understand the clear path on what you need to do to achieve those goals. But also any of these strategies you want to talk about, see how you could implement them into your life. Send me a DM or email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com and let's up, set up a free strategy session. We'll talk about it. I'll show you how you can implement some of these things and we'll help you to have a great 2021. But thanks for being with me. I'll be back tomorrow and we'll share some more with you then. See ya.